things that I um, often see when I'm travelling around the country is um, when you go into a shower room or a toilet and you look and you look at the tiling and you can see that the tiler has set it out and he's got little tiny slivers of tile down the vertical sides and the bottom to top doesn't match and to a lesser extent but also just as important the urinals and wash basins and anything else in there has been set out with no apparent thought to how it looks and how it feels to the tiling. Now I know sometimes you can't set equipment out without having it in the right place and it's just going to have to be. But at least you should try and set everything out so everything looks right and feels right. The tiling and the equipment are all in line and they, and they look good. So what I'm going to do today is to show you how I set out um, equipment and it's a very much a personal thing but the basics of it are probably quite right so there's my room um, and as you can see there I've set a room out and if I look at the object info the room is about four and a half meters wide and the height is 2.4 meters so the ceiling height is this there and that's the plaster don't forget now what I've done is um, I've set a line here which is my skirting line so I will uh, set out my building with a, a 6 inch or 150 skirting around there and then from the, the plaster line internally I set out the, the vertical centre line and the horizontal centre line between the skirting and the ceiling. Now you can also see I've set out two other lines there. And those are 75 millimeter offsets, which are half a tile. Now, what I've done also is I've done a tiling layout and a tile set out layout. Um, so I can turn things off if I don't particularly want them. So we're going to look at the tiling layout, not the tile set out. And if you look at these lines here and look at my uh, object info, there you can see tile set out. So I can switch them off if I need to. We're now on tiling layout. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go round this particular um, wall elevation. And I've now got uh, a line setting out the building. What I'll do there is modify. I'll use the hatch tool in this particular case. And as you can see, I've done this before because I've practiced it out. But I've got a six inch square tile and I'm going to use that one. So the first one I'm going to use is I'm going to put the tile onto there and I'm going to put it onto there. Now let's have a look. Edges look pretty good and uh, I think that's more than half a tile onto there so I'm quite happy with that. But look at the vertical. Not very good. Don't like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have another look at that. So let's go back a little bit. And I don't want to say this. So there's my, there's my um, surround again. And let's go down to this and let's look, modify, hatch, whatever I've put it. There it goes, hatch there. Six inch square tile. But this time, I know the horizontal is pretty good, but the vertical I'm not happy with. So I'm going to go and put it up half a tile. Now let's have a look. Oh, that's much better. Excellent. So I'm quite happy with that. The sitting out is pretty good. Everything is looking reasonably large. I've got no slivers of tile anywhere. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my resource browser and I'm going to get some equipment on. First off, I'm going to get a urinal. Uh, sorry, I'm going to get a WC. Let's choose that one there. And let's put that as a centre line onto there. It wants to import it into this particular drawing. I want to uh, select the destination folder. I want to put it into my bathroom furniture because I'm importing it in from my Steve's bits. Now, let's have a look at this. It's centered on a tile, which is where I put it, so it looks reasonably good. I'm gonna leave it there. Oh, it's on the on the skirting layer. Let's pull it down a bit. I don't want that, do I? So, I'm just putting it down onto the floor. I've nudged it down, and it's all centered on a tile, so it looks good. Quite happy with that. Now let's try and put in um, a bath. Now let's look. Now let's look at a wash hand basin. And I've got to centre it again. He wants to put it. He wants to say select destination folder rather than the file hierarchy. I find that much better. 
and there it is and again I'm going to put that onto a center of a tile so it looks reasonable don't forget this is very subjective and it's it's how you feel about it but I like things to match up and line up next thing we're going to do is to put up a what can we put up let's put a bath section in now this is one particular bath section that I use an awful lot and I've set the setting point again I want to bathroom furniture I want to put it into there and I'll put it into there not very happy with that because between the bath top and the tile I've got a little tiny sliver now I know that's going to cause problems so I can either if the bath will allow me to do this I'm going to set the bath setting out point and I'll make a note on the drawing that it is to be either on the top of the tile or slightly above the tile so it can be sealed properly and I'll set all that out or I'll go and I'll go and choose another bath that has a deeper section that works better but can you see my thought process I'm looking at the way the equipment comes in and how it fits into the tiling I don't want slivers down the edges of the tile I don't want little tiny slivers setting up top and bottom and I like to have my equipment set up equally around the tile so when I look at it it doesn't feel offset or as an afterthought and when I put my bath in I'm thinking about how I'm going to seal it I don't want to see this sort of thing here where it's sitting on there and I've got a little tiny sliver of tile there that's going to be cut in and it'll only come away in time the, if I put a silicon seal which you know I hate um, but if I do put a silicon seal down there it'll try and pull that little sliver of tile off and I don't want that so on this particular case I'm going to raise it up and I'm going to detail it accordingly hope that helps what I've also got here is the setting out points and I will make them in red and I will make sure that when the send that to the back so I've got them all on so when I set the drawing up I'm going to actually make a big note to the tiler this is the setting out point that is the centre line of the building of the wall in that it's both its vertical and its horizontal and there's a half tile set off and I'm actually using the vertical half tile to make sure that everything's set out hope this works for you more to come in the future be good, be kind, be careful toodaloo